Welcome, welcome to IHIP News, where we share our opinions about the news that is important to us. That's right. Pops, I have some rather disturbing news out of Arizona. Okay. And I believe when people tell you who they are over and over and over again, you have to believe them. And what I'm specifically talking about is the Republican MAGA party led by convicted felon Donald Trump and his supporters and his sycophants that still support him. Specifically, there is a guy named Jeff Durbin in Arizona, and he is the leader of the Republican opposition to the Arizona measure to protect abortion rights. And here is what he said. Abortion should be considered a crime. It should be considered a murder. You're unjustly taking the life of a human being. And so that's murder. And what I've said is what is the historic position of the Christian church, that if you take the life of a human being unjustly, then what the state owes you, if it's proven and it's true, is capital punishment. You forfeit your right to live. What in the literal fuck? Yeah. Holy shit. These people are crazy. This is a Trump ally. This is what they want. And they telegraph it now. The problem is Fox doesn't cover this. So you have these silent Trump voters that are kind of closet Trump supporters when they're in perfect setting socially. They're like, oh, he's just too brash for me. You know, I'm not a Biden fan either, but I don't like Trump. But they can't race to the voting booth quick enough to vote for him. They're not hearing this stuff. You know what? I'm just... I'm flabbergasted. I'm appalled. But you know what I really irritates the fuck out of me? I mean, there's so many things, but it's like capital punishment for people that get an abortion. It's a human life. Bullshit. It's a cell. And where's the punishment for the dad? He just gets to run around ejaculating, making all these babies, and it's the woman's problem. I fucking hate this guy. I hate all of them. They are so sexist, misogynist, and the whole fucking, oh, abortion is murder. It's a human life. Bullshit. Hold it. Hold it for me. Hold a two-week-old, three-week-old, five-week-old embryo and tell me that's a human. You stupid fuck. The situation is the science on this is settled. It's settled. The only thing that isn't settled on this are large portions of the religious right and religious Americans that cling on to Iron Age ideology. We literally live in the modern era, and we have all of this scientific discovery and medical advances. These people want to cherry pick when they use it. If this guy has a heart problem that a stent could fix and make his life longer, he would do it in a heartbeat because he would say, praise God for the scientific discovery. When it comes to a woman and her right to have privacy and choose what she wants to do with her body, he wants to be all up in that. And I think there is an inherent sexism in Abrahamic religions, specifically this whole idea around the virgin birth, that somehow sex dirties a woman. And these people want all women identified that have had sex as dirty women. And there's a way that you can do that. And it is if they get pregnant, then you get to control and you get to, it's a modern day scarlet letter in their mind. If a woman has a baby out of wedlock, then all the right wing Christians will know, oh, she's a slut. And that's their that's their big thing. Meanwhile, God only knows what this guy's doing. Well, and here's the deal, too. It is so absolutely appalling that he would lack the self-awareness that he's so ingrained in his belief. He doesn't see the controversy. He doesn't see the harm that it causes people. He doesn't see how dangerous it is. Or he does. Well, or he does. And that's even more sinister. And that's the problem. They know. They know that 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds get raped by family members, family friends. And they want those little girls forced to have their rapist baby. They know. There are Republican politicians that have tried to lower the age for marriage. 
actively. So I think they do know. And that's what is so insidious about it. That's what's so punitive about it. These are laws specifically designed to punish women. All of these men are misogynist, hate women because their religion has told them the object of their desire is a sin. So what what happens in the brain? Well, you have to start hating them, but yet you still want to screw them. So it's a real mix up in their brain. And then you have all these women that have internalized misogyny that right. support men who do this. And they know that their husband has a wondering eye. And so, you know, let's scarlet letter up this woman over here. And it's to me, you do not see this exist outside of these religious circles, normal uh, open-minded people that embrace uh, facts and science do not are not caught up in this whole thing. This is a religious problem that they're trying to make a mainstream problem. And the problem is not with abortion. The problem is with this Iron Age thinking. And they clearly want, he said, in the Christian faith, the punishment is. This is Old Testament hellfire damnation bullshit. And that's the problem. Women and their sex lives and their reproductive issues are not their business. His religion is not my business, but he's trying to make it my business. And so I'm going to call out every YouTube episode that we can get. What a cancer I think this extreme Christianity is on our nation. Next up, speaking of uh, extremists and uh, what this guy is just more than I can take. And it's Lady G, Lindsey Graham. <laughs> You know, Lindsay, Lindsay's so schizophrenic, okay? Yeah. No disrespect to people that suffer from schizophrenia. But one minute, if it's if the Republican Party elects Trump, we're going to get we're going to ruin ourselves and we're going to get it and we deserve it. Right. I remember that. And then he's crying on Fox News, please send money to President Trump. He's just such a pussy. It's jaw dropping and it's jaw dropping that all of the people, the alpha males that support all of this, build up these guys that are just have no principle, no honor. I mean, just shift their opinions like the wind. And it's so gross. But lately he's been mad at the criticism that the Supreme Court is getting. He just can't he can't take it that people are criticizing Alito and Thomas. So here's what he had to say about that. Donald Trump changed the court. They're squilling like stuck pigs because the Supreme Court no longer is a political body. It is actually uh, looking at the Constitution and making constitutionally sound decisions versus political decisions. Because most Americans believe that they're not safer under President Biden than they were Trump. Chris Coons, a dear friend, said that there's a good case to be made that you're safer today than you were when President Trump was president. If you believe that, you shouldn't be allowed to drive. That's silly. That's dangerously wrong. The border is beyond broken. You have wars in Ukraine. You have the Mideast on fire. Uh, when it comes to enforcing the law, uh, Joe Biden has been beyond reckless. You know who's safer now under a Biden presidency than a Trump presidency? Lindsey Graham. You want to know why? Because he's not getting stormed in the Capitol by a bunch of cult followers, beating up cops, taking a shit in the Capitol, acting like they're patriots. I mean, it's just how he says that with a straight face is beyond me. Lindsey Graham is a perfect example of someone that has completely morally bankrupted themselves for Donald Trump. And all these guys in the Republican Party, they're alpha males, all that. They fucking succumb to a cult leader with zero, zero ability to have their own opinion. But here's what kills me about that. Number one, just this morning, I read a poll that crime is down. Are they shit about, oh, the crime, the crime? That's all bullshit on Fox News. If you look at the data, crime is down. The border, the border, the border. Where was fucking Trump on the border? Like, we had these exact same problems. He didn't fix them. We're trying to fix them. Bipartisan legislation. Trump won't let him do it. But this guy, with his fucking weak ass shit, I just, it makes me crazy. Him and the guy from Arizona, I just want to get somebody with a baseball bat. 
Yeah. And the situation with the Lindsey Grahams, the Josh Hollies, the um, Ted Cruz's, I believe they know better. Right. But they feed the worst parts of humanity. And you may remember back when John McCain ran against Barack Obama in 2007 and 2008. A lot of these rabid little budding cult members in the making were swarming around McCain and they would say, oh, I'm worried about Obama. I'm scared of Obama. And he wouldn't feed it. He would say, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. He is a good person. We disagree fundamentally about politics. And he would not feed these rabid, deplorable animals. Now they all feed them. This is like a psychological case study study on the most toxic members of society with the most toxic uh, cult member, convicted felon at the top. And it has just exposed all of this right wing Christianity for the full blown hypocrites that they are. And Lindsey Graham's upset about the Supreme Court. I have news for you, Lindsey. So are 180 million women. I mean, it's just unbelievable. A man who has never married, doesn't have a kid, is up there criticizing people for being upset that their rights were taken away from them. He fucking knows better, but he's too big of a pussy. Speaking of pussies, (laughs) Trump sent out a, uh, an email grifting. Shocker. He, his email says that he was tortured in jail. He's never even been to jail. Exactly. He's such a fucking liar. It's unbelievable. And you know what? People believe this shit because this is where they get their news. Do you know they did a study that people who watch Fox were less informed than people who didn't watch any news at all? I completely believe that. And it's, this is it. This is the Fox effect. This is when you just are fed red meat lies all the time. You're so desensitized to it. And they're like, oh my God, they, t- they tortured Trump in prison. Well, guess what? He's never fucking been in jail. He's never been in jail. It's like the never surrender shirt when he was surrendering. Like I, I hate to say not very smart. They're not, but they're not very smart. They're not. And the religion has set the psychological soil for them to engage in this magical thinking. This is magical thinking. Lindsey Graham's one minute rant is complete lies, magical thinking. It's there are real problems Mm -hmm. and there are real solutions that we can aim towards. But with this cult in the way, it is a massive problem because you have so many citizens of this country that are so radicalized and they're radicalized initially from their religion, which sets the psychological soil for them to be radicalized into this form of authoritarianism. And I think we're going to have to open up rehabs all over the country to deprogram these people. And I hope that the government pays for it because these people are sick. I mean, this is a real mental illness. These people are as sick as they can possibly be. And this is a crisis because there's such a large number of people that are radicalized and cult believing in this shit. And what what scares me most about it is how excited they get about hating on women, Mm -hmm. hating on LGBTQ+, hating on immigrants. They get excited about it when it's like it's like Pavlov's dog. You can see everything kind of firing when they get to start talking about what all they hate. Yeah, it's it's meanness and it's cruelty. Speaking of meanness, I hate them. I hate them too. All right, stick with us for more hot takes.